Welcome in to all of you once again to another vintage audio experience here. We're going to couple a little bit of discussion about, well, one of the most unusual stereo amplifiers I have here, the True Test 5 circa 1950, produced, not produced, but badged by Lafayette of New York. Lafayette Radio, but made in Japan, and known as the Widowmaker, a killer. First of all, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications, and listen to the end of this, because you're going to want to hear how this baby performs with one watt. One of my big contentions here is, I'm not saying people... People overestimate wattage, but people overestimate wattage. It's clean watts that count, right? What's this? What's this? What's the distortion? What's the full-bodied sound of it? I would rather have a one-watt system that sounds like this does, this True Test Five, than a 200-watt system that just sounds like noise and loudness and distortion okay i have one in, i don't have one but people have them in the trunk of their cars here in the hood and boom, boom, boom. okay if you like it it's cool but this baby redefines cool and if you go to try to find one of these true test fives today they're very difficult to find people love them or they hate them let's go down the amplifier side and take a look Best thing to start with is a little bit of a side view and you can see there's not a heck of a lot to this uh, this particular unit but the reason it is a killer is it's ungrounded you only really have the uh, dual polarity on the uh, plug and you don't have any grounding whatsoever which means if you touch the chassis and you're not grounded in some in some places if you touch the wrong area you are really going to get a heck of a shock here and these kind of units really did shock a lot of people they're open design i have a cabinet that came with it but it was some homemade rinky dinky piece of junk which didn't particularly look good i'd rather leave it sort of open until one day maybe get a better case on it but let's see some of the features it has we have the independent controls on the uh, top we have left channel right channel volume here and this uses two 35 35 watt uh, c5 output uh, yeah 35 c5 output tubes here and uh, the 12 ax7 tube for detection and i guess we have for the rectifier here a 35 w4 over here we also can flip between stereo in mono mode we'll let this warm up a little bit and I'm always very careful when I'm touching this we'll let this warm up a little bit and uh, it does have a it does have a screw on the side as I'll show you in a second for grounding if you want to do that but most people wouldn't ground they just buy it and use it get shocked or you know be taking a bath in a bathtub it falls in and <laughs> well that's the end of it just joking and it also has a low pass in a high pass filter if you want to cut out the uh, low frequencies or you want to cut out the high frequencies so it's always been a very it's always been a very intelligent design simple on off switch over on the side here we have our dual inputs and perhaps you can see it over there there is a screw 
right here for grounding the unit for uh, so an incredibly uh, an incredibly simple system but it sounds amazing i never figured out really why people love it so much it could be because it gets so much sound out of such a small system and it defies people's conventional thinking about um uh, wattage and output i'm not saying it's going to smoke the windows out of the uh, rancho living room here in front of the wall of sound but uh, it's still pretty doggone appealing i haven't rebuilt it yet i've got some work to do on it but uh not exactly the top of the priority list but boy if 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 i if i was to put this on the market and sell this this baby would be snatched like boom fast so if you can get one of these little true tests they're high they're highly collectible i call them little desktop amplifiers put it on the executive desk with a little bit of a uh, mp3 player a tuner a, a, a disc player right uh, something like that dvd and it just just blow people away like you got something cool that other people don't have right and then that what life is all about so this little baby you can hardly see it down here on the on this shelf it's so tiny anyway guys i'm going to uh, get to our listening experience now once again if you're not subscribed subscribe hit the bell for all no notifications this is vintage audio wonderland check the playlist down below go to the main channel front page hit the subscribe button the bell for all notifications because we also do uh, fishing and crabbing is coming up sonoma coast uh, got uh, outdoor cook uh, catch and cook adventures uh, what else do we have metal detecting live streams all types of projects here homesteading in the hood here in the hood in Santa Rosa California a working orchard and rancho I would love you to be a part of it also demonstration cooking too so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for all the notifications Go to that front page, check that playlist for vintage audio rescues, repairs. There's a few of them down there and vintage audio listening experience. Okay, without any further ado, let's listen to the True Test 5, circa 1960, in action. 